What's up guys, this is John from the Reaper blog at reaperblog.net. In this quick tip tutorial, I'm going to show you a little trick for setting compressor release times. So I have a shaker track here that has like a, a hard hit and a soft hit in between. I want to even out the dynamics there, but I want the compressor to stop compressing before each hit. Uh, here's how it sounds without any compression. So I have Recomp open here, and I have it set to about 4 dB of gain reduction at 4 to 1 ratio. I have the attack as fast as possible because I want to catch that sharp transient at the beginning. Where do I start with the release control? Let's hear it at zero. You can hear and see that the release is instant, and as soon as that transient is gone, it's turned off the compression and these in-between hits are also triggering the compression. That's uh, far too aggressive and really not suitable for this sort of sound. So where do we start with the release control? That's the trick. Let's get this timed correctly with the song. So I have the grid set to eighth notes, and if I wanted the compression to stop right around here after being triggered by this hit, then what is that time? If we have our ruler set to minutes and seconds, then we can see here that this selection of two eighth notes is 483 milliseconds. So let's type in, let's say, 479. And let's hear how that sounds. So you can hear and see on the gain reduction meter that it's still compressing um, after this first hit while this one is going, and then it shuts off right before. So that's one way to do compression on this track. The other way is to set this to an eighth note. So we make a selection of an eighth note, and we look at our transport selection. Um, and at set 241. So let's set this to 238. So just slightly faster. Let's hear it now. So that's compressing on every hit, and everything's a lot more consistent. So um, you know, between this number and the was it 470, 479. There's two good options for compressing this track. And this one, you know, setting it to the longer uh, quarter note release time uh, makes it a little more natural and it retains that dynamic of soft, loud, soft, loud. So there's two starting points for you. And you can do this with any sort of percussive track, kick drums, snare drums. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Like it if you liked it, and share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks, guys. Bye.